the uh, Ectobot, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, last I left off, I finished uh, putting the uh, rest of the parts on him, and I started to paint the white on him, but I gotta go back in, I gotta sand the uh, little seam on uh, his uh, left arm, uh, as you can see it right through there, so that's no, not a big deal, just, uh, you know, kind of killed the uh, painting project, but anyway, we'll uh, get that all uh, taken care of uh, today. And get some more paint on him. And what I've been using paint-wise, you have to excuse lunch there. Uh, I've been using the Vallejo's white primer, which uh, to me it's uh, almost bright white. But uh, I did that for a base coat, and then I'm going to go back in with uh, basically Vallejo white and uh, airbrush that on there as well. But anyway, that's my game plan on that. And uh, I masked off a few things, but you can see some overspray on the chrome. That's real easy. Just take some. Uh, we'll just take a little bit of thinner there and we will uh, wipe that off and uh, we'll still have the chrome pieces but anyway other than that that is where I am on Mr. Echo Ecto bot and I got a just a few little other places I need to fix uh, uh, you know paint a few little spots anyway I'm gonna leave some of the cream colors some of the brown colors and I'm gonna put a lot of f filter washes and it'll blend everything in same way I'm gonna uh, try to tone down the uh, all black proton pack give it a little more color and some dry brushing and some uh add some wires and stuff anyway we'll get to that uh hopefully after i get all the white on is what i'm planning on but anyway ectobot is uh taking shape uh the hammer uh phantom uh now this is the illuminator one which uh atlantis is uh, supposed to ship mine next week so probably uh, monday afternoon but anyway wanted to do the uh, hammer uh mask because uh, i love the uh, 60s uh phantom of the opera but i also love the hammer one i think it's just uh, the style of it it's just fantastic but anyway so i made a little vacuum form kit probably about four bucks you know uh there's the forget about the uh butt there but anyway it uh I think it turned out pretty darn well. And it should fit your uh, family opera figurehead uh, perfect. Because so, I cut one out like so. And uh, there's the, which is basically the same head. And it actually, if I can do it with one hand here, it fits. And I cut out the eye so you can see the eye. I think you can. Yes, you can. Right through there. So we are good to go on that. I need to uh, sand it down, and I'm waiting for the uh, kit to come because I want like to, I'd like to build it. I've of all the monster kits, I have never built the Phantom of the Opera. That's uh, one kit I've I started on the Illuminator one because I was going to do it, and then I never did. And uh, and I want to add my little uh, my little vacuum form base that I made for it too, which uh, I'll probably do a little combo. Uh, hammer and uh and the base wall or i can do them separate either one you know i may offer that'll probably be like uh you know seven bucks for both of them or you know five for that and uh you know four for that it's something like that we'll, we'll work it out but anyway the uh hammer style base and uh mass uh taking shape and today we started the uh tactical uh shopping cart and uh i got most of it uh, pretty much assembled uh, you do get a uh, bar for the uh, uh, handle on the uh, shop cart I went ahead and used styrene and just cut it out it was just easier I uh, I'll use the uh, caster wheels on it though uh, which uh, you know I'll pop them off and use them for the uh, uh, wheels on the cart but anyway other than that I just needed something to really make it sturdy and i didn't know if the resin one would hold up but anyway i gotta figure out i'm gonna i'm kind of i'm not copying the exact same one i'm kind of is it just a tad bit different cart but if you can see my dushka here i'm gonna try to get it uh kind of like that that's what i'm planning on and uh, get it all get it all glued in something like that that's what i would like to do i think that'll work but anyway that's uh, i'm tinkering with that uh I'm gonna have to bend a couple of things on here just to. Uh, I like it good and because you know it ain't perfectly straight shopping cart being in combat, so it's gonna have some dings. So I started dinging up a few things. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of the, uh, and I, I know why they did it. Uh, they actually did double pieces on the. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say the wheel brackets here. That's just to make it sturdy. I kind of wish I should have left them off and made uh, just single ones. But anyway, we'll live and learn. 
I'll put in a little putty in there and uh, try to get that sanded down. But anyway, that's where I am on Mr. Shopping Cart, which I think is just pretty darn slick. The Dushka, I got it cut off the sprue. I got to clean it up. And if you look at the, uh, uh, it's basically a World War II one, the best way to explain it. And uh, basically, uh, the modern version, uh, you know, doesn't have none of the uh, World War II stuff attached to it. It may be just a tad bit different here and there, but basically the same design is the same. So anyway, uh, got that on. I just got to glue all the little pieces, but I got to I got to trim off the uh, little excess of the sprue, and uh, we'll get that accomplished hopefully today. But anyway, that's what I've got going on today. I uh, decided to go on a little base too because I'm going to have uh, the tactical shopping cart, a uh, figure, a little jihadi there, and uh, just probably a little bit of the uh, building and uh, street work. Anyway, I like compact. I just think it looks uh, pretty darn set, but I'm pretty much uh, satisfied. I'm going to go with this base. But anyway, that's what I have got going on today. We are uh, starting the tactical uh, shopping cart. We got the uh, hammer and a uh, new phantom add-on base. And Ectobot is getting some paint. So that's what we got going on today. So stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode.